Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna do a nail set based on a Disney character, more specifically, a Disney villain. I thought it'd be kind of fun where I do a set inspired by a character and you have to try to guess what character that it is that inspired me. I'm thinking about making this a series. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you would have fun watching. So I'll do a design. You have to tell me what character you think it's based on. And then in the comments down below, I just want you to write the time of when you figured out who it was. I will tell you at the very end of the video, so try not to cheat and go all the way to the end. Try to watch the video and let me know where you found out who it was. For my gel tips, I'm using these from One Day Saving. I use these a few times now in a few other videos that I've done. I really do like these tips. I love the shape of these nails and honestly, I think it'd be perfect for this design. So to put those on, I'm using McCart base coat. I also have a peel off base coat underneath so I can easily pop these off in a day or two. I'm just gonna sharpen up these edges here and go around the cuticle area with a sanding band just to smooth that out and make it more flush to the nail. Rosalind reached out to me and asked me to pick a gel polish kit from Amazon. So I did go through and check out all the colors and I really liked this set here. Uh, I thought it was perfect for fall. Plus I needed a couple more nude colors. That first color is like the perfect nude base for any design. This one here, we got like a baby pink color. Number 10 is this really nice red color. I love it. So pretty. This one, number 16, is another nude. It's just a darker base. I don't have anything like this. It reminds me of like cookies. Got a couple grays, uh, 2095. This one here is a really light grayish blue. I don't have anything like this either. I thought these would be really great for fall and for uh, winter designs. This really pretty pink. I love this like purpley pink color, so pretty. We got a black color and you always need black. Black is a staple. You need a black, you need a white, you need nude. Like you just need those colors in any gel polish set that you have. And then we got this really dark blue gray color. Also really pretty, can't wait to use these colors. So the colors I'm using is one, 10 and three. So the first color I'm gonna go in with is this nude. It is so pretty. It is the perfect nude base. Plus it just blends those gel tips in with your natural nails so it's like sheer enough to where you can kind of see through it but you don't see through it all the way and like see your natural nail underneath so i'm going to apply that on my ring finger and also my middle finger i'm going to apply two coats of that Next, we're gonna apply two coats of this red on my pinky. I actually really liked these polishes. They're like thick enough to wear two coats is plenty, but they're also like smooth and like I didn't have any trouble with them like blending in or like leaving streaks or anything like this. The formula is actually really nice and I, I actually really, really liked these polishes. I didn't get a white polish in that set, so I am using my Madame Glam Perfect White on my index finger. We're gonna apply two coats of that. And now we're gonna apply two coats of black on my thumb. This is how we're looking after everything has been applied and cured in the lamp for a full minute. I honestly like the way that that looks how it is. Like you could add some top coat on there and be done. I think it looks really pretty that way, but we're gonna go in with our design now. I'm just gonna be taking some of that black on my little dotting tool here. We're gonna be adding black dots everywhere on my nail here. Just a reminder to type in the comments down below the time of when you figured out who the character was. You don't have to put the name in there, just put the time. I'm gonna tell you at the end who the character is, but just so everyone has a fighting chance of, to guess who it is and to keep it fun, just write the time down there. Thank you. 
All right, so we're all set with this one. I'm gonna cure that in the lamp for a full minute just to make sure everything is cured properly. I'm gonna go in with my frosting gel paints from Profiles Backstage. And I've been seeing that design where they like split the nail in half and they've got a French on one side and then they have like a design of something on the other side. I really like the way that it looks. So we're gonna do a design like that today. So I'm gonna split this in half here. I'm gonna uh, fill one side in with all white and then we're gonna go in with the red on the other side. I am caring as I go. So after each color, I do uh, care in the lamp for a minimum of 45 seconds. I just want to make sure everything is cured properly. Otherwise you might have some wrinkling and that doesn't make any design look nice. So just care as you go so you don't get frustrated. Going in with my dotting tool and some of that black gel polish, we're gonna be adding some more spots over on this white side here. I'm gonna add rhinestones on my pinky and my thumb. So my pinky, I'm gonna add black rhinestones and on my thumb, we're gonna add the red rhinestones. I thought that'd be cute and just kind of pull everything together. Here is the finished design, and if you have not guessed it yet, it is Miss Cruella DeVille herself. I think that these turned out perfectly for her. They look so freaking cute. I love them. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this set, and if you think you would enjoy a series like this. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!